Good morning, guys. It is Jonathan with One Big Impact. So today is day one of the One Big Impact seven day fitness challenge. Now these are some very basic movements, but I wanna, of course, cover a couple things so that you understand basically what you're doing. So you can do one of three things, okay? So you can time yourself for three minutes. Sometimes people with bad connections have a little bit harder time uploading videos longer than one minute. You're not required to, we're not like judging you or uh, it's nothing like, it's just for fun, okay? So if you don't wanna do it, don't do it, okay? But it's very basic, so don't overcomplicate it. Um, but if you're trying to upload videos longer than one minute, sometimes people have difficulties that have slow, whether it's Wi-Fi connection or internet connection. So split them up into three videos. So we're going to do squat, we're going to do, and by the way, I'm not going to be doing them <laughs> because I have a crazy intense workout uh, routine that I do and there's just no way to be able to add any more volume on. But I want to cover some very fundamental things that probably aren't being told to you or you're just not aware of. So we're doing a, a air squat, okay? And I may change these things a little bit for people that are a little bit more advanced or kind of wanna switch it up during the week. So an air squat, sit-ups, and, and I may periodically do them uh, throughout the week just to kind of show you that I'm doing them too because I do all these things except for with the squat I add hundreds of pounds and with the um, the sit-ups I add uh, like a 90 pound weight and then with uh, push-ups I don't do push-ups I do uh, tons of bench press every week so to not falter those because I'm really trying to hit some maxes this week because I so I really got to be intelligent about what I do um, but push-ups, sit-ups, and um, squats. So I'm gonna cover the squat first, and I'm just going to cover, and I'm weird, at a weird angle, um, because I'm gonna go show you over there, and I can't get the angle right. Anyway, um, you can do uh, upload one minute videos of each, so just time it for one minute and go. So the idea is do as many as you can with good form within that minute. If you have to stop and you can't make it the whole minute, good, rest, okay, go back into it after about 10, 15 seconds and then continue. So I wanna cover the squat because it's the most widely misunderstood of all. Um, it's the most technical and obviously we don't have a bar on your back, but I think it's really important to cover this as if there was. So if you go to a, do an air squat, and hopefully you can see, I can't see that far, but if you go to do an air squat and you're going like this, okay? No problem, right? But also if you're going like this, like you're squatting down like this, if you can see me, I'm squatting down to pick something up off the ground. That is not the same type of squat. The same type of squat is different. You're pretending you got a bar on your back, you want to keep your shoulders in line with your feet. So if you squat and you're like, whoa, way this way, your heels are picking up and everything like that, you need to correct it, okay? So the easiest way for me to explain how to squat properly is get your feet shoulder width apart, okay? Shoulder width apart, for a lot of people it works better without shoes on or like flat shoes like Chuck Taylors or Vans or something like that because you have a raised heel in the back. So when you squat down, you'll tend to tip forward a little bit. So you wanna make sure that's not happening. The best way to understand this is when you're squatting, you want your feet wide enough so that if you were in the forest taking a shit, you were not gonna shit on your feet or your ankles or whatever. You, like, does that make sense? Also, the other way to understand it is pretend you have a pregnant belly that has to go between your legs when you squat down. Now, if you're a woman or whatever, if you've been pregnant, um, then you know you have to get your feet wide enough to, for the, the, the position of your stomach to be. If you have less range of motion, if you're a bigger person, then you're going to need enough room widely to be able to get your belly down between your legs. So when you squat down, you wanna keep your chest up. You wanna pretend you're holding a baby and that baby, if you tip over, that baby falls on the ground. I know, this is weird cues, right? I get it, right? Okay, so you turn your feet out about 15 degrees and wherever your feet are turned out is where your knees are going to track out with them. You don't want one facing the other way or whatever. So you're gonna squat down, you're holding the baby right here. You keep the baby safe, keep your chest up. When you come back up, you're going to look up about 45 to 60 degrees to make sure that you are driving your chest up the whole time. So when you go down, you squat down and then you come back up. 
It's just a straight movement. Okay, so the other really important thing that people neglect constantly is parallel or more. Okay, so I, if you're going here, you're squatting here, these are not squats. It's a complete waste of time, to be honest. Um, there is a variation of that that I could use for like glute development and stuff like that, but you would not be doing it if you were attempting to do a squat. So you squat down, you must be at least here, parallel or below, okay? So if your hip is higher than the top of your thigh, meaning you need to be here or lower, okay, when you squat. You could be down here or anything like that, and I'm coming a little bit closer because I'm not sure if you can see me, but hopefully you can. So I'll get a little bit further away. You squat down, and obviously I'm in the way of the sink or whatever small little apartment, but you have to be to parallel or below. You don't have to be ass to grass. Your bottom doesn't have to touch the ground. I squat usually ass to grass just because then depth is never a question. The other important thing is consistency. If you squat at a certain level, meaning your leg is like this at the bottom, then sometimes don't squat here, don't squat here, this is your butt, don't squat here. Just keep it the same every time so that you know eventually when you do start adding weights, there's no question about you are actually getting stronger. So a lot of times when people will go, okay, I got a barbell on my back and I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna squat here, let me get a little bit further. I'm gonna squat here with 225 on my back, and then I'm gonna get 315, and then I'm gonna get 405. What am I doing? Like, not a damn thing. So you're not getting stronger, you're just getting dumber. And I'm not saying that to be a jerk or a dick or whatever, but I'm just being honest with you. Those are the fundamentals. So understand there's so many different variations that you can intensify. Like I would venture to say not to talk about like the hundreds of pounds that Jonathan's lifting or whatever. Like I'm not trying to say that's different because I promise you there's squat, air squat variations that are 10 times more hypertrophic and problematic for me as far as like holding and squat jumps and stuff like that that are 10 times harder and more difficult than just lifting a couple hundred pounds once. Um, so there is not much else I wanna cover. If you have questions, please put them in the comment section below. I will attempt to uh, do some squat variations and stuff like that throughout the week. Don't quote me on this. This is kind of like a free range thing, you guys. I am definitely working seven days a week. So it is like three o'clock in the morning right now. I'm getting ready to go. Uh, happy Monday. I worked yesterday, so work every day. You guys, uh, be stronger than your excuses. Remember to spread love, not hate. Drink your damn water. Don't forget to upload your videos. And don't be a shy, don't be shy to upload videos. Who gives a damn? Like it's no big deal. You know, nobody in this group, in this family is going to be judging you. So that's a video on how to properly air squat. If you have any questions, just feel free to uh, shoot them on the comment section below. Like I said, if you're new here, please check us out on Facebook. Our group is called Healthy Living for a Healthy Life. Be stronger than excuses. Remember to spread love, not hate. Drink your damn water, stay on track, and have a beautiful week. Bye.